I'm Jonathan Robinson, and this is Fred Buzz. Hey guys, welcome back to the Fret Buzz. Special edition today. Stay tuned at the end. We're gonna have a, a special acoustic performance showcasing one of our awesome custom tailored guitars. That's at the end, so stay tuned. Uh, but for now, let's get to the videos. Video number one, bear with me, don't freak out. It's Post Malone. Um, and I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's probably going viral. I think parts of it already have but it is so good I cannot talk about it. It's on Matthew McConaughey's channel. Oddly enough, Baxter and I talked about Matthew McConaughey having a YouTube channel earlier this week, and here he is with a, a fundraiser for Texas, uh, and it's called Post Malone Goes Country. We're Texas fundraiser. Like I said, it's on Matthew McConaughey's channel. Uh, I clicked on it just sort of out of morbid curiosity, and, and I shouldn't even say that. I, I should know by now that Post Malone is pretty fantastic. It seems like it, whatever he does, even if he's not your vibe, his normal stuff. I've seen him play guitar, I've seen him play like a slowed down, trippy Cliffs of Dover, which was great. But on this one, he's playing country music, he's got a fiddle player, he's got a pedal steel player, he's got a dude playing an awesome Gretsch, and they're just crushing it. They open with a Brad Paisley song, then they do a Sturgill Simpson song. It is fantastic. Even if you think you hate Post Malone, do yourself a favor, watch this video. Again, Post Malone goes country on the Weird Texas fundraiser. So that's video number one. Video number two is a new channel to me. I've seen this guy before. I think he's got a True Fire uh, uh, channel or, or whatever it is on True Fire when the True Fire artists do the, do the lessons. Uh, his name is Jeff Mackerlander. I, ha I have no idea if I said that right. So I am sorry, Jeff, if I butchered your last name, but no two ways about it. Jeff is an awesome player. He is a great teacher. Uh, I think we all know there's tons of great players that aren't necessarily great teachers, but this guy is. This video I came across is called Harmonic Minor Explained. It is over an hour talking about harm harmonic minor, when to use it, when not to use it, how to use it, sort of the right application so that you don't just sound like, you know, Ingve shredding away the whole song. You put it in the right spots and it becomes a really useful tool. I thought it was a fantastic video. I'm probably only halfway through, so the end is probably even better. So check it out. Uh, again, Harmonic Minor Explained, super cool. As always, the links will be in the description. Video number three. Now, I really enjoyed this video, big channel. This guy's actually mentioned us before, which was really kind of him. His channel is way bigger than ours. He's got a huge following, but I just thought this was a great concept. It's Telly versus single coil versus P90 versus humbucker comparison. What's different about this than most videos that compare pickups, they are all in the same guitar. So you really get a, an idea of what the differences in the sounds are. He talks through, you know, what are the differences in construction in these pickups. Mr. Philip McKnight, like I said, I'm sure you guys know him. He's a great player. He really knows his gear, and it's really cool to hear him talk through all these different styles of pickups. Um, it's just a cool video. It's interesting. If you are a gear nerd uh, and you you know, you know want to know what different pickups sound like, maybe you think you know, you still might glean some insight from, from Philip McKnight uh, in, in this video. Like I said, it's really cool that he uses the same guitar. So check that one out. Number four, the Foo Fighters. Who doesn't love the Foo Fighters? It has been said that I resemble Mr. Dave Grohl. I think that was probably truer when I was younger and my beard was not quite so burly and long. Um, but whatever, draw your own conclusions on that. This is Foo Fighters Everlong Acoustic, March 20th, 2021. I've heard the song a million times. You have too. I've heard it acoustic. I've heard it with the band. I've heard it with orchestra. What's cool about this one, it's just Mr. Grohl standing there. He plays the song. He's playing an awesome Gibson acoustic but he talks you through the process, where he was emotionally when he wrote it, how he came up with those cool chords, and then his weird sort of strummy pattern thing. He talks through how he thinks about the acoustic guitar like a drum set because he is a drummer. I thought that was really cool. I've read sort of things about that before that he said in interviews, but this one he really goes into it, so it's super interesting. Um, bit of a bonus video this time. I've been super into Gretsch stuff lately. I just put out a, a video on my channel about a, a cool 64 vintage Gretsch that actually belongs to Derek here at the shop. He was kind enough to let me borrow it. Uh, that's gonna be your backing track, jam track sort of of the week. Uh, so I'll link to that as well. But 
Anderton's just happened to put out the 2021 Gretsch Electromatic Guitars line where they do the review, go through the whole Electromatic line. They look and sound amazing. So if you're interested in Gretsch's, especially maybe some affordable Gretsch's at a great price point, I doubt you will find a better review of the entire line than, than this. So check that out. And again, uh, I'm gonna link you to one of my videos. Uh, it's a 64 Gretsch Tennessean, and it is also the story of how I ended up and came to be at Casino Guitars. Check that out. The jam in the beginning has a backing track that I made, so there'll be a link to that. Remember, if you do a take of it and you post it, don't forget to hashtag Casino Guitars, Jonathan Robinson Music, and the Fret Buzz. So now, all our videos are out of the way. Let's check out a pretty cool custom guitar from Taylor Guitars. All right, so this is a Taylor Guitars. It is a custom Running Horses Grand Pacific. We found this thing at NAMM, fell in love with it. We had to have it. Uh, it's pretty freaking amazing. It's got a Bear Claw Lutz Spruce top. It's got Master Grade Zeracote back and sides. And it's just fantastic. I mean, of course, you can see those those inlays. I mean, that's pretty pretty amazing. Pretty amazing tuners on there. I mean, just the whole thing. It's just a fantastic guitar, and it sounds great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play a song for you. Here's here's a tune that I love to cover when I'm out doing acoustic gigs. So you can see that this thing it actually sounds and plays as good as it looks. <laughs> Put on my blue suede shoes, I'm bored in the plane Touchdown in the land of the Delta Blues In the middle of the pouring rain Double UC handy, won't you look down over me Yeah, I got a first class ticket I'm as blue as a boy can be and walking in Memphis Walking with my feet ten feet off a bed Yeah, I was walking in Memphis But do I really feel the way I feel? I saw the ghost of Elvis Down on Union Avenue Followed him up to the gates in Graceland And I watched him walk right through Now security, they did not see him They just hover around the stone But there's a pretty little thing Waiting for the king Down on the jungle home And I was walking in Memphis Walking with my feet ten feet off a bed Yeah, I was walking in Memphis But do I really feel the way I feel? They got catfish on the table They got gospel in the air Reverend Green, be glad to see you when you haven't got a prayer. But boy, you got a prayer in Memphis. Well, now, Mary will play piano. Every Friday at the Hollywood And they brought me down to see her She asked me if I would Do a little number And so I sang with all my might She said, tell me are you a Christian child And I said, ma'am, I am tonight I was walking in Memphis 
Walking with my feet and feet off the bed Yeah, I was walking in Memphis Do I really feel the way I feel? Put on my blue suede shoes and I bought in the plane. Touchdown in the land of Delta Blues. In the middle of the pouring rain.